students. Uh, welcome to a very special lecture series on scientific writing. I'm Dr. Pravez Ahmed. This is the ninth part of the uh, series. Uh, in this section, uh, we will have a discussion on the scientific English or scientific language. Uh, be remember for ease of the understanding the lecture, we have put all the data on the slide. So we will give you just a sense as if we are writing uh, the slide. Uh, it's just for the ease of understanding so that the audience can back, uh, pick the uh, idea of the lecture easily. So let's move towards today's lecture. So today's lecture uh, is about the scientific language, uh, which we mean here English. So uh, three aspects of style seem to cause problem while dealing with the scientific English. And that is division of the text into sentences and paragraph. So, uh, be remember, scientists uh, should have only one idea or concept. Uh, in general, uh, sentences and a scientific prose should be short, but full stop should not be added to laterally that the writing does not uh, flow. The use of the paragraph helps the reader to appreciate the sense of the writing. Superfluous phrases and the words should be avoided. Uh, do not uh, write phrases such as, uh, it is also important to bear in mind uh, the following considerations. So most woolly phrases can be omitted or replaced by a single word. Try to use a familiar, precise word than the far-fetched waggy words. Uh, cheaper may be replaced, uh, more economically viable in ongoing situations, it doesn't mean very much. Tense and moods, uh, write in past tense unless you are describing present or future situations. I uh, use the active voice rather than the passive voice. Uh, for example, instead of writing, uh, the, food was, uh, the food was eaten by the fig, write the fig ate the food. Uh, the active voice is easier to read and reduce the sentence length. Uh, it can be acceptable to write in more than one tense and literature review, for example, Brown showed that the brain is more fully developed at birth than other organs. Uh, in this case, the present tense can be used for a second half of the sentence because it gives knowledge uh, that is universally accepted. Material and method should be written in the first tense. Uh, the experiment was designed in the form of a sex cross sex Latin square. Uh, remarks about the result uh, should mainly be in the first tense. Uh, when a high protein diet was fed to a rabbit, they grew rapidly. Uh, sentence constructions. The purpose of any paper is to convey information and ideas. Uh, this cannot be done with long involved sentences. So uh, for that, uh, keep sentences short, not more than 30 words in length. A sentence should contain one idea or two related ideas. A paragraph should contain a series of related ideas. Uh, choice of words. Uh, words have precise uh, meanings and to use them correctly add clarity and precision to phrase. Uh, looking at the following phrase of the words that are often used in scientific texts, learn how to use uh, them correctly. Uh, fewer, less, infer, imply, uh, is because, uh, disinterested, uh, uninterested, uh, alibi, excuse, uh, data, de, uh, datum, letter, letter, casual, casual, lose, uh, lose, uh, mute, mood, discreet, discreet, uh, see for example, less active blood cell uh, versus uh, fewer active blood cells. So use a standard dictionary and uh, Roger uh, uh, Trier's of English, English word and phrases to find the correct meaning of the words. That is very important. Uh, and along with that, you should also be familiar uh, with the use of the pronouns. So when you write it, this, which, or they, uh, you are sure that the meaning is plain. Uh, a pronoun usually deputized for the nearest previous noun of the same number, uh, which might be singular or plural. Uh, for example, uh, the cow at the food, uh, they were white, uh, the cows at the food, uh, it was white. So correct spelling, uh, including the use of the plural. 
uh, so for that uh, you should remember that some words have alternative spelling for example uh, uh, the, the example of such words are tire and tire gray and gray drop and drawed so upon the difference is between the American and British uh, spelling I mean whenever we are we, we are trying to uh, utilize such words so sometimes uh, your Microsoft words program it's a uh, I mean it show a mistake for uh, I mean for uh, some of these words so uh, I mean it's not actually a spelling mistake but uh, I mean it's, it's a difference between the British and the American English so in order uh, to cause uh, in other cause an apparent uh, misspelling and uh, is a misuse of the word for example practice and practice so that is because of the English the American the British and American English so the plural of many words in English is achieved by adding uh, an s or es uh, to the sing, uh, single I mean uh, most of the time in English uh, when we are trying to convert uh, we're trying to use uh, plural for uh, some words so it can just be made by adding s uh, or es at the end of those words however some words have the same form in both the singular and plural uh, other words are already plural such as people and equipment so uh, don't use uh, peoples why uh, and th there are certain situations where you can use a uh, few fills uh, I mean there when, when we are using the the plurals uh, as a uh, peoples so in that particular situations uh, we are referring to different group of people are different ethnic groups uh, and along with that uh, we are using the same for the equipment so it's uh, meaning the same that is we are uh, referring to a group or some ethnic group uh, meaning uh, the, the apparatus that is being related with some ethnic groups so adopted words sometimes take uh, take on the plural of the original language and the example for them is uh, uh, datum uh, become data and fungus become uh, fungi use of the abstract words I use the uh, the concrete uh, and not the abstract uh, to achieve clarity and uh, precision. So uh, cessation of the planet. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, here you should be uh, corrected because uh, you know that some words, uh, even the, uh, the people they have the problem to uh, to spell them correctly. So uh, we should use the word uh, concrete uh, and not. Uh, the abstract to achieve clarity and precision uh, uh, cessations of plant uh, grow operated and some of the floor uh, obviously a cessation cannot operate uh, some floor of uh, plants uh, did not grow during the uh, trial so the the abstract noun basis is commonly overlooked a uh, measurement of storm intensity and wall uh, recording stop to be uh, available both day and night on a 24-hour basis to measure storm intensity recording stop have to be at duty throughout the day and night be careful with the use of the present uh, participle uh, after uh, standing and uh, boiling water for an hour uh, examine the flask uh, the garden always end and uh, ing if the sentence is left without a subject uh, and hanging participle uh, then the action of the verb is uh, transferred to the person taking the action misuse of emotional words should be avoided uh, one cannot develop a logical argument by using emotional words uh, for example progressive reckless uh, crank sound good correct uh, and food superiors superlative how very more much have a place when used uh, economically uh, as superlative uh, they are out of place in scientific writing superlative such as uh, gigantic earth shattering fantastic should never be used qualifying the absolute some adjective or absolute and cannot be modified such as uh, sterile or unique other objectives such as uh, pregnancy have to be qualified with care uh, 
a petri dish is either uh, sterile or not sterile it cannot be very sterile quite sterile or fairly sterile uh, an object is unique and although a woman uh, can be recently pregnant she cannot be uh, slightly pregnant uh, loose expressions uh, should also be avoided in scientific writing and each selected village uh, 30 farmers were uh, interviewed namely 10 large uh, average and small farmers uh, and the reference here and the reference here to the size of the farmer or to the size of their farms grand equivalence avoid the use of scientific uh, jargon the aim in scientific writing is to inform uh, using simple language not to confuse by the use of uh, grandiose uh, sounding words and phrases grand eloquent phrases uh, the ideal of uh, uh, must combine high uh, fungi toxicity uh, with low uh, uh, mammalian toxicity and uh, prototoxicity and with the absence of the uh, tanning or other uh, uh, deleterious side effect uh, when the food is uh, processed. Uh, sample replacements, uh, the ideal uh, fungicide must kill fungus effectively but must be harmless to animal and plant and must cause uh, no attainting or other harmful side effect or when the food is processed gentilism i is not uh, a modest uh, and a research worker and therefore I use it uh, although not to uh, access uh, no not uh, the present writer or the author of this communications the misuse of the definite article the uh, avoid overuse of the word the uh, only use when it is applied to a particular item that has been referred to before all other uh, could be omitted the excessive use of the pronoun it uh, avoid excessive use of the indefinite pronoun it uh, it would thus appear that uh, can be replaced by apparently it is evident that uh, by evidently uh, other commonly used phrases such as uh, it would be seen that uh, it is interesting to note that and uh, it is thought that uh, can be left out uh, without any meaning uh, being lost a wide verbal uh, obscurism and use simple word uh, some phrases show uh, shoppy thinking for example the phrase it has long been known uh, that usually mean that the writer has not a uh, bother to look up the reference correct to an order of the magnitude uh, probably mean that the answer is wrong uh, almost reach significance uh, at the power person level usually mean a selective interpretation of results text uh, text is easier uh, to understand f simple words and phrases can be used to replace more complex or foreign words for example analogies can be replaced by similar uh, utilized by use uh, terminate by end function uh, column and semicolon a colon is used when a list or explanations follows uh, a semicolon is used to separate two or more related clauses uh, provided each clause form a full sentence commas a comma is put in a sentence to denote a brief pause uh, between the group of words uh, an example is uh, i will show you uh, the paper about which i was uh, speaking but it is not as useful as I first thought. R to separate the uh, subclass. Professor Brown, who is in uh, charge of the uh, recruiting for the university, said that the lattice estimate were higher than those for uh, this time last year. Finally, to separate all the item and list uh, except for uh, the last two. 
the following atom may be um, uh, imported uh, duty free and to uh, azania uh, animal uh, cereals uh, plants fruits trees uh, legumes and nuts other points concerning the use of english uh, a singular verb must always be associated with a singular noun uh, similarly a plural words with a plural nouns uh, difficulties arises uh, especially with the nouns like for example uh, livestock and data uh, which are plurals number and units uh, quantities should be given only as many uh, significant figure as can be justified for example the metabolic rate of an animal should not be quoted as uh, 30 326.18 w uh, if it can be measured to only within about five percent so it should be written as uh, 330 w the figure within a number should be grouped uh, in threes with a small uh, space between each group so that they are easier to read uh, comma should be avoided for example uh, 22 uh, 306.1 uh, not uh, 21 comma 306.1 Concerning unit, uh, the system international should be uh, used wherever possible. When incorporating statistical data into the text, uh, the text used, for example, uh, chi square uh, should be included. So that's all uh, we have for this lecture. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you uh, with more details in the coming lectures. Uh, that will be topic as uh, water usage and scientific writing so stay tuned with us uh, see you very soon till then bye bye